Paying taxes is a central part of the social contract which government has with its people, in which citizens contribute through taxes to the common good of all in the country. If one looks at the phenomenal progress we have made as a country, one is astounded. This could not have been done without the tax contributions by all South Africans. We are the South African Revenue Service and are entrusted with the responsibility of facilitating the partnership between government and taxpayers. We exist to ensure South Africa's fiscal sovereignty by effectively and efficiently collecting the majority of all government revenue. This is our journey. 1994 was a profound time in South African history. The year marked the transition to an open economy and democracy for all. With our freedom came demands on government administration for increased resources to improve the lives of all South Africans and assist with government's developmental path. The government, under the charge of President Nelson Mandela, investigated the tax system to assess improvements. These reviews considered the developmental goals of government to address poverty, inequality, and economic growth. In 1995, Cabinet approved a two-step approach to the autonomy of SARS. The directorates of Inland Revenue and Customs and Excise moved out of the Department of Finance and was established as a revenue authority called the South African Revenue Service. When the autonomous SARS had been created, the personnel would, as a second step, be transferred to the new entity. On 1 October 1997, SARS was born with the commencement of the South African Revenue Service Act and was formally established as an organ of state. In October 1998, SARS moved to a new head office in Pretoria called Lehaela SARS. In Sesotho, this means the home of SARS. 1998 also saw the beginning of SARS transformation program, resulting in far-reaching changes being made with the introduction of the new income tax system, allowing for online business functionality. Right, we've come to the end of the financial year. We are on a payroll system. We've entered all our employees. We've got all the collected information, and now we're ready to put it onto Easy File. The new millennium heralded the planning phase, the Siaka program. True to its Isizulu meaning, we are building. The program sought to re-engineer and restructure the entire organization. SARS e-filing was introduced to South Africa. Capital gains tax was introduced to broaden the tax base. Our mission, to optimize revenue yield, facilitate trade, and enlist new tax contributors. E-filing was extended to value-added tax, pay-as-you-earn, and income tax. Any high-risk returns were investigated to eliminate corruption. In 2004, the SARS Academy was established and the plastic bag levy was introduced. The Gauteng Tax Court opened at Megawatt Park, Johannesburg. In 2007, SARS commenced with a seven-year modernization automation program. The era of paper only started being phased out. This year, you have until the 31st of October to submit your tax return. And you have more ways to do so, including dropping it off at any SARS branch or South African post office nationwide. Thank you. It's just another way we're helping honest taxpayers meet their obligations quickly and easily. <laughs> So this year, there should be no excuse for being late. But if you really need more time, you can file your return electronically using e-filing until January the 31st, 2008. And you won't be in the dog box with SARS. We kept the cost of collection within international norms and collected 90% of all government revenue. A new individual tax return led to the electronic submission of returns to a million people. In 2008, the first group of Customs Border Control recruits graduated and the Customs Modernization Program was launched. We ran a voluntary disclosure program for defaulting taxpayers, resulting in collection of an additional yes. 1.5 billion rand in taxes. Yes. 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 Have you ever committed a crime? No. 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 
Do you think we should all play a part in fighting crime? Yes. 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 Do you consider yourself an honest person? Yes. 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 Are you always honest on a tax return? Yes. Lying on your tax return is a crime. Be honest and help make South Africa great. In 2012, we launched a Help You e-file service on e-filing. In the same year, the SARS e-filing mobisite and app went live. The Excise Modernization Program was launched. The e-filing facility was extended to include excise return submissions and transfer duty submissions. In 2014, the non-intrusive cargo scanning equipment is launched at Durban Harbour, South Africa's busiest port. New baggage scanners were installed at eight customs ports of entry, and a cargo scanner is commissioned for Bait Bridge, South Africa's largest land border post. In 2017, a special voluntary disclosure program closed on 31st August, yielding 2,000 applicants and resulting in the collection of over 1 billion rand. A tire levy was introduced. Today, SARS Customs and Excise employ over 2,500 officials who play a key role in trade facilitation and border protection. All customs declarations are electronically processed within a few seconds, unless flagged for further inspection by the risk engine. Release of goods is also electronic. This electronic process has resulted in cutting down on possible corruption and fraud. Customs duties are imposed by the Customs and Excise Act 91 of 1964. Duties are levied on imported goods with the aim of raising revenue and protecting the local market. Our excise duties are levied throughout the SACU countries, namely South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, Namibia and Swaziland, where specific excise duties and duties on petroleum products are levied. We protect our planet. Environmental levies are placed on certain types of plastic bags, electricity generated by using non-renewable sources, certain non-energy saving light bulbs, and carbon dioxide emissions on new motor vehicles manufactured in South Africa. Since the launch of the modernization program in 2007, annual tax and customs revenue collected by SARS has increased from 321 billion to 900 billion to over 1 trillion rand within 10 years. The number of registered taxpayers, traders and other persons grew from 8.24 million to more than 20 million. The modernization program involved applying advanced technology and systems to processing increasing transaction volumes, improving service to taxpayers and traders, incorporating sophisticated risk management capability promoting voluntary compliance and complementing enforcement capability, cost efficiency, and delivering a sustainable solution for future development. Our footprint and presence have grown. Currently, we have a single contact center distributed over four sites, 53 tax branches, 15 mobile tax units, and 60 portable registration kits in South Africa. Our customs and excise staff are deployed at 13 airports, 11 seaports, 27 designated ports of entry, 9 excise offices, and 10 customs offices. SARS recognizes that its people are an indispensable driver of performance and hold the key to the organization's ability to operate efficiently and effectively. Our people philosophy is characterized by care and concern, employee growth and recognition for excellence and engagement. In just two decades, SARS has grown to become an integral part of the fabric of the South African fiscals and society at large. As our country evolves, so does SARS. From an ever-growing branch network, 
to simpler forms and an intuitive self-service e-filing. SARS strives to meet the needs of taxpayers from all walks of life. Going forward, we will remain steadfast in our quest to make all taxpayer interactions with us seamless, efficient, simple, and as convenient as possible. We will never lose sight of our promise to the people of South Africa to ensure that everyone pays their fair share of tax. After all, the contributions of our taxpayers help to take South Africa to greater and more prosperous heights. Oh, hey. oh, hi, 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 hi.